land in Yellowstone rises alarmingly after Pacific Northwest quakes, USGS detects something strange beneath the park. Yellowstone National Park a surprising chain of geologic events has captured the attention of scientists across the United States after a series of sharp earthquakes shook Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier earlier this week. Within just hours of those Pacific Northwest tremors, highly sensitive instruments in Yellowstone National Park detected a sudden, unexpected pulse of uplift a measurable rise of the ground surface in one of the most closely watched volcanic regions on Earth. According to preliminary internal reports from the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, several GPS stations around the Yellowstone caldera recorded a rapid vertical rise that exceeded normal background fluctuations. While uplift at Yellowstone is not Unusual parts of the caldera breathe in slow, cycles of rising and sinking the speed and timing of this. Latest movement caught experts off guard. It's not the amount of uplift alone that interests us, one USGS scientist noted, but the fact that it occurred almost immediately after the seismic activity under Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier. That coincidence made us take a very close look. A mysterious signal from below. USGS seismic monitors also detected what researchers described as a deep, low-frequency harmonic tremor beneath Yellowstone shortly after the Pacific Northwest events. These unusual vibrations are sometimes associated with movement of fluids such as magma or superheated water several miles beneath the surface. The tremor appeared at depths between 15 and 20 kilometers, far below Yellowstone's shallow hydrothermal systems, and it lasted longer than typical tectonic quakes. Scientists emphasize that this does not signal an imminent eruption, but they acknowledge that the pattern is unusual. We're not seeing anything that suggests immediate danger, the agency clarified, but we cannot dismiss the fact that something new may be happening deeper in the system. Strange synchronization? Scientists cautious but curious, the earthquakes beneath Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier were modest, strong enough to be widely felt across Washington state, but not outside the ordinary range for those volcanoes. What stands out, however, is the timing. Yellowstone's uplift spike occurred less than six hours after the Cascades quakes. Some researchers think the events might be unrelated coincidences. Others suggest the possibility still, unproven that distant seismic waves could have triggered adjustments or pressure redistributions inside Yellowstone's vast magmatic system. What you have is one of the most complex volcanic networks on Earth responding in real time, a volcanologist from the University of Utah explained. Even small shifts in one region make a subtle effects in another thousands of kilometers away. These systems are far more interconnected than we once believed, at least in terms of how they respond to energy waves. Yellowstone's uplift, a reminder of its restless nature. Yellowstone has a long history of inflation and deflation cycles. In some years, the ground rises by several centimeters. In others, it sinks. However, the suddenness of this week's uplift described as alarmingly sharp in the initial observation logs makes it stand out. 
USGS has deployed a team to recalibrate instruments, review satellite interferometry insert data, and determine whether the uplift represents a true subsurface event or an anomaly in the monitoring equipment. So far, the data appears legitimate. The uplift was most pronounced near the Mallard Lake and Sour Creek resurgent domes, two areas overlying Yellowstone's shallow magma reservoirs. These domes have historically been the most active parts of the caldera and are often the first to respond to deep changes underground. What happens next? USGS stresses that Yellowstone remains at normal alert level, and no unusual surface changes such as increased geyser activity or new steam vents have been observed. But internally, scientists admit that the combination of the sudden uplift, the deep harmonic tremor, and the immediately preceding Cascades earthquakes has created an event cluster worth studying closely. We're entering a period where Yellowstone is reminding us that it's still alive, still dynamic and still capable of surprises, a geophysicist involved in the analysis commented. Further updates are expected as additional satellite and seismic data come in over the next several days. 